Smoking is linked to pulmonary conditions and changes in the respiratory tract microbiome. Smoking is also linked to non-pulmonary conditions. It's been previously shown that smoking exerts a detrimental effect on the gastrointestinal tract. Human studies using stool samples have demonstrated that smoking also affects the fecal microbiome. In addition, a published study has shown that smoking affects the small intestinal mucosal microbiome. Until now, there has been no published data linking smoking with the small intestinal luminal microbiome. In our study, we compared the duodenal luminal microbiome in people who have never smoked, current smokers, and ex-smokers who quit 10 or more years ago. The relative abundance of phylum bacteriodaceae is significantly higher in the NS group than the CS group. When we add the XS group, the relative abundance of bacteriodaceae in the XS group is in between the NS and CS groups. At the family level, the NS and CS groups show significantly different duodenal luminal microbiomes. For example, the relative abundance of Prevotilaceae is higher in NS than in CS. In addition, the relative abundance of Neseraceae is higher in NS than in CS. The duodenal luminal microbiome profile in the XS group is more similar to that of the NS group. Looking back at Prevotilaceae, we see that the relative abundance in the XS group is more similar to that in the NS group than in the CS group. And when we look at Neseraceae, we see that the relative abundance in the XS group is more similar to that in the NS group than in the CS group. Both Prevotilaceae and Neseraceae were among the duodenal families that are positively associated with microbial diversity. Additionally, Parfaryomonodaceae, which is present only in the NS group, is positively associated with microbial diversity. The relative abundances of these three families are higher in the NS group than in the CS group. But those differences between the NS and CS groups are less pronounced in the XS group. Enterobacteriaceae and Lactobacillaceae are considered disruptors. They are found here to be negatively associated with microbial diversity. Enterobacteriaceae and Lactobacillaceae are negatively associated with Prevotilaceae and Neseraceae, the families associated with increased diversity. The relative abundances of Enterobacteriaceae and Lactobacillaceae are lower in the NS group than in the CS group. The relative abundances of the known disruptors Enterobacteriaceae and Lactobacillaceae are lower in both the NS and XS groups than compared to the CS group. To recap, we see changes in the following microbial luminal families based on smoking state. The relative abundances of Prevotilaceae Neseraceae and Parfaromonodaceae, which are associated with increased microbial diversity, are all highest in the NS group. The XS group has intermediate relative abundances, and the CS group has the lowest relative abundance. The relative abundances of Enterobacteriaceae and Lactobacillaceae, disruptors of microbial diversity, are lower in the NS and XS groups than in the CS group. following taxa are predominantly contributing to the changes seen at the family level. An unknown species of Prevotella, Neisseria subflava, Neisseria cinrea, an unknown species of Parforomonas, an unknown species of Escherichia shigella, an unknown species of Klebsiella, Lactobacillus panis, and Lactobacillus murinus. Some of our findings in the small bowel microbiome appear to be similar to findings seen in the microbiome of the respiratory tract in smokers. We see the relative abundances of genera Neisseria and Parforomonas 
are lower in the duodenal luminal microbiome of the CS group. Others have shown the same trend in the respiratory microbiome of smokers. Based on our findings, smoking-related alterations in the duodenal luminal microbiome in current smokers are attenuated in ex-smokers who quit 10 or more years ago. These data show smoking has effects on the duodenal luminal gut microbiome.